Hello and welcome to High Point Music's Tone Zone. In today's episode, I thought it would be fun to give you a really quick clip with a Les Paul, something with some humbuckers running through the Def Watts that we had on our channel recently, just to show the difference in comparison between humbucker pickups, which aren't quite as bright sounding as the pickups in my Strat, uh, to give you that idea of what it might be for you if you're playing a humbucker guitar at home. So really quickly, some bridge sound. Some neck. And the cutting teeth too. So I've got it set at that nine o'clock position. I can back that off. Let's hear what that filter control does at this gain level. Personally, I am probably going to leave the filter control down for my own playing, but you can hear that with that little bit of a different response in the style of pickups, that amount of cut there at midday or 12 o'clock is not quite as predominant or as obvious as it is with the Stratocaster, uh, but it is still there. At 11 o'clock position, maybe you'll get an extra half an hour, 11.30 kind of thing on the knob position dial uh, before you lose that top end response, but it's still going to be about a similar position. Cool, let's push the gain control. So let's go up to about that 11 o'clock. So the palm muting response at this particular gain level is pretty good. I will do a little bit more of that playing and then move into some lead stuff. But I think if you're playing classic rock, anything that requires some palm muting, this particular knob set is going to work pretty well for you. Great, so we have that great neck pickup tone that I really like with a Les Paul. The Cutting Teeth 2 definitely does push that sound, that really thick violin-like response that I'm a big fan of, as I mentioned in the review for this with my Stratocaster. Let's push that gain control up a little bit more and we'll get into that uh, heavier, fuzzier kind of sound. So pretty similar, we'll go a little bit higher now. A 
and you can hear now we're getting to that fuzzy kind of sound. It comes a little bit after when you, uh, with the humbuckers than with the single coils, and that's probably just more because these are a little bit more mid-focused than the, uh, the, the single coils in my Strat. But uh, let's give it a run and see if we can tighten that up with the volume control. Not quite as much as I would like. Uh, the pots in this guitar are going to be different to the pots in my Stratocaster. They are at different values, they're going to roll different amounts of frequency off, and the change in pickup response means that when I drop that volume back, we are not hearing as much treble response, uh, equally so because these pickups aren't as trebly as the Strat pickups. So I would probably stick to using the gain control on this rather than my volume pot on my guitar. Uh, just for the time being until I've had a bit more of a play with it. So worth noting, you do lose that little bit of bottom end, but it's not as much of a response as you would find with single coils, at least to my ears in this room with this setup. Let's go all the way up and try some neck. for days. It can sustain for longer than I can vibrato. So again, that great lead-like tone, not quite as fuzzy sounding with these pickups, but you also don't get to roll the gain off quite as much. So, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's more versatile with single coils, at least compared to this guitar, but maybe you should pick one up and check it out for yourself. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. We can hear what the gain control does. The tone filter reacts pretty similarly and the levels are pretty similar. So definitely a pedal you could swap guitars between pretty easily and you're gonna get two fairly different distinct sounds going from single coils to humbuckers or to P90s or foil pickups or whatever you might be using. I would hazard a guess that it's going to be pretty good just based on what I've heard today. As always, don't forget to give us a like, a share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. We do appreciate that feedback. If you really want to help us to put out more videos as good a quality and as frequently as possible, you can become one of our esteemed Patreon members. You can follow the link below to do so. Thank you very much for watching again, and of course, I will see you in the next episode.